Hi and welcome. This video is designed to help you fill in Section B of your 2017 Annual Information Statement. Your responses to questions in this section will appear on the Charity Register unless the ACNC has approved a request from you that specific details be withheld from public view. So, it's important that you answer the questions in this section correctly. Now, all the details you'll see entered in this video are based on a fictitious organisation, not a real charity. So, let's begin. Section B, Activities, is about what your charity does, where it does it, who it supports, and how. Question 8 asks if your charity conducted any activities in the 2017 reporting period. Activities include administrative tasks involved in running your charity, as well as the charitable work it does. Generally, you will select Yes. If your charity is unsure if it conducted activities, we would still encourage you to answer Yes. If you select no, you must explain why your charity did not conduct any activities in the 2017 reporting period, and then you may skip to question 13. Just note that the page may take a moment to update each time you make a selection. If you do select yes at question 8, you'll move on to questions 9 through 11, which ask about what you do, who you work with, and how your work helps achieve your charity's purpose. Sometimes these questions can prove a little challenging. So what we've done is prepared some detailed guidance on each of these three questions. These three in-depth how-to video guides, one each on questions 9, 10 and 11, can be found via the 2017 Annual Information Statement Hub at www.acnc.gov.au forward slash 2017AIS. So, back to question 9. Ensure you select just one main activity in the first section. If required, you can select additional activities from the list below the first section, but do not select additional activities if they're not a primary part of what your charity does. Charities that undertake international activities will also be asked to provide some information about this work. In this example, we have pre-highlighted that our fictitious organisation undertakes international activities, so you can see on the screen the extra questions which appear. You'll be asked to select one type of international activity from the checkboxes you can see here, and then provide further details here. One last note on this question. Under the tick box list of possible activities, there is an option to select Other. When completing past annual information statements, many charities listed activities under the Other category when they could have selected from the options provided. We urge charities to group their activities under the options provided rather than just selecting Other. However, if any activities that your charity conducted are not listed on the Annual Information Statement form, you can select Other. If you do, use one word or phrase to describe them in the text box which will appear in your form once you select Other. In question 10, you will need to describe how your charity's activities helped achieve the charity's purpose. You can summarise key points from your annual report and even include a link to your annual report if you like. Quickly, while we're here, we'll skip on to question 11. Question 11 asks about beneficiaries. Who has been helped most by your charity's activities? If your charity has a large range of beneficiaries, or is focused on animals or the environment, we recommend you select General Community in Australia, which is the first option in the drop-down menu. If your charity has more than one beneficiary, you can select up to four from the tick boxes below the main drop-down menu. Most charities' beneficiaries will fit into one or more of these categories. If one of your beneficiaries doesn't, you can select Other and describe it in the free text box next to it. And for charities whose main beneficiaries include people with disabilities, they will be asked to answer questions in relation to the National Disability Insurance Scheme, the NDIS. These questions will appear automatically in the form if you are required to answer them. In question 12, select all the locations in which your charity conducted activities during the 2017 reporting period. Activities include programs and operations undertaken, fundraising, as well as providing funding or other support. Activities can also include online services. Question 13 will ask you if your charity intends to change or introduce any activities during the 2018 reporting period. If you do, tick the Yes box and then describe them. Once that's all done, you can move to Section C, Human Resources, by clicking the Next Page button here. For more on this section of the Annual Information Statement, refer to the Guide and other resources at the Annual Information Statement Hub at www.acnc.gov.au forward slash 2017 
AIS. As always, if you have any questions or need any specific assistance with the Annual Information Statement, you can call us on 13 2262 or email us at advice at acnc.gov.au. I hope this has been useful and thanks for watching.